Hello students. Today we are going to talk about polarization by reflection of light and uh, also polarization uh, due to scattering of light and then in the process we shall also uh, recall Brewster's law. Well, what is polarization we all know when the vibration of when the uh, vibration of electric field is restricted or confined in a given particular plane that light is known as plane polarized light and uh, malus found that when uh, a, when a light ray is incident on some transparent medium then uh, we already discussed that uh, whenever this happens that light interacts with matter it suffers reflection as well as a scattering and apart from that uh, the some part of the light is also absorbed by the matter and then re-radiated that is called a scattering of light well when light ray is incident on some uh, transparent med medium then the reflected light is found to be polarized partially in in general and it becomes completely plane polarized when the angle of incidence is equal to a particular angle known as polarizing angle for that transparent medium well you see here we are considering a light ray ordinary light ray which is allowed to fall on a medium which is having a refractive index mu2 and it is transparent medium then a part of the light will be reflected and remaining part will be transmitted. Well uh, due, uh, due to reflection the light is found to be completely plane polarized when the angle of incidence is exactly equal to a particular angle for that medium known as polarizing angle and if the angle of incidence is different from the polarizing angle still the reflected light, light is uh, found to be partially polarized and also one, con one more condition is uh, form found that the reflected light is always at 90 degree with the refracted light when angle of incidence is equal to polarizing angle for that medium and uh, thus we see how we can obtain polarized light due to reflection and also in this process if you find the value of refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium that means mu2 upon mu1 that is mu2 with respect to 1 refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium will be equal to uh, according to Snell's law will be equal to sin i upon sin r but here you see since the reflected and refracted light makes 90 degree therefore you see and i since uh, angle of incidence must be equal to angle of reflection so the angle value r value of angle r will be nothing but 90 minus ip and so we write sin ip by sin r is equal to sin ip by sin 90 minus ip and that equals to sin ip by cos ip and therefore it becomes sin ip tan ip well you see this is also known as Brewster's law now we also, I'll also again talk about the polarization produced due to scattering of light. What is scattering? <coughs> Sorry. We know whenever light is incident on some tiny particle, what happens? It is absorbed and re-radiated. Well, you see, apart from the phenomena of reflection and uh, and a, a refraction if the material is transparent apart from this the third thing happens that light is absorbed and then re-radiated this phenomena is known as a scattering of light 
and in this case if we consider a light ray ordinary light ray in being incident on some particle in air then then the and which is of a small size then in that case the scattered light when seen at a 90 at a direction 90 degree to the direction of incident light then the light seen scattered light seen in this direction will be is found to be plane polarized so it uh, it can happen in some another direction as well uh, essentially when the line of sight is at 90 degree to the original path of the incident light so you can very well understand if this is the direction of incident light then we can have a direction a 90 degree to it will be in the plane perpendicular to the incident direction of incident light so in this plane in whatever direction we see we will have the the scattered light to be plane polarized so by this these two phenomena we we have uh, in nature plane polarized light produced so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day